Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to believe in yourself. Again, a part of the ways, wisdom. Um, so make sure you guys drop a like. Make sure you guys drop a little comment. And last but not least, make sure you guys subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you never miss out on a new video. Without further ado, let's get into it. First of all, welcome to my channel. My name is Japan. Activate Sonic Cat. Okay, so I think that we have to talk about um, finding your why. I think when it comes to self-belief and believing in yourself, that a lot of it is, is, is bottled down to why, you know, finding out your why. What I mean by what is your why? Everyone has a why as to why they are doing whatever it is that they're doing. So for example, my why would be that I want to uh, become a, a successful actor or I am a successful actor um, and why I've been doing this is because I want to uh, uh, tell stories that can change people's lives. I want to be able to change my financial situation. I want to be able to support those that I love around me, my family and my friends. And so every day that I get up, I have a why, I have a motivation as to help me uh, you know, to push myself and to find a reason to believe in myself. If I can't find that reason at the surface, then I can search a little deeper in order to find that reason. And that reason bottles down to why. Why are you doing whatever it is that you're doing? I think that also ties into, you know, having other people not believe in you. Because when people don't believe in you, if you have your why, then it stops you from caring as much. You're no longer driven as much by, you know, the fact that someone else doesn't believe in you. Because even if that guy or that girl doesn't believe in me, because I know why I'm doing this, it allows me to put my own self-belief into myself to be able to execute and deliver on whatever it is that I'm doing. So finding your why is really important to generating your self-belief and to believing in yourself. And when it comes to your why, it's really important that your why is bigger than you. Why is that the case? Because if your why is bigger than you, then whenever you're going about your day-to-day -day and you're trying to pursue whatever it is that you wanna do and you're trying to find that belief and that motivation in uh, believing in yourself, if your why is external and it's not all to do with yourself and you have you know, uh, external people like loved ones and, um, and you know, other people around you, then that puts you in a position where now when you don't feel like believing in yourself or you don't believe in yourself for whatever reason, you have an external why and your why is then linked to something in which is not yourself, which then draws you more motivation and more self-belief so that you know, if you're doing it for your mom or you're doing it for your dad or your brother, your sister or your family, your friends, then when you don't feel like doing that thing or when you don't feel like you know, believing in yourself, you're gonna put yourself in a position where you're gonna be forced to find motivation to believe in yourself because it's no longer just about you and it's also about other people. And so that will help you to generate that self-belief in which you have for yourself. And I've used this analogy once before um, and I use it again. If you don't believe in yourself, no one else will. I used an analogy about you know, someone which is driving a car and their car breaks down two people that break down their car. One is in the car saying, help me, help me, help me. And one is outside of the car, pushing the car, trying to get it started. Who are you more likely to help? Who are you more likely to believe in? The person that believes in themselves enough to get out of the car and push the car, or the person that's just sitting there saying, I don't believe that I can push this car, and so it's never gonna happen, and so based on that, I want someone to come and help me. You're not more likely to help the person that is not helping themselves. So I loop that back around, and I say that to say, if you believe in yourself, then there's more of a chance that everyone else is gonna believe in you. And if everyone else believes in you, then what happens? You get more self-belief. That self-belief then generates more belief in yourself to be able to execute and give you the fuel and the fire to achieve whatever it is that you want to achieve. And I think it's important for us to just discuss uh, practical elements of self-belief and in believing in yourself and how to kind of uh, generate uh, an opportunity for you to believe in yourself. And I think that that is all to do with what are you consuming? What are you consuming that's gonna help you to believe in yourself, right? So I take an analogy and I say that you've got two wolves. There's two wolves that live in your head. There's the good wolf, the positive wolf, the wolf that believes in himself, and then the bad wolf, the bad wolf that tells you, I don't believe in you, I don't believe in myself. And these two wolves are there, the good, bad, the good wolf and the bad wolf. Which wolf is gonna win? The answer to that question is the wolf that you feed the most. Whatever wolf you feed the most is gonna be the wolf that wins, the wolf that surfaces, and the one that remains most prominent in your mind. So if you take those two beliefs, those two wolves, 
Ask yourself, which one are you feeding? What are you feeding? Are you feeding your self-belief and your motivation and everything that's gonna impact and empower you to be the, the person that you wanna be? Or are you feeding the, the, the wolf in which is giving you that negative energy and giving you that, uh, you know, that lack of self-belief? And that could be even down to your peers, your friends, who you're around. Are the people which are sowing into your life sowing into your life positively, uh, allowing you to believe in yourself, or are they negative? Are they saying, oh, you can't do this or you can't do that? He who says he can and he who says he can't are both usually right. And you need as much as you can get in belief to be able to ramp yourself up to know that you can do it because you can. And I think the last thing that I would say is it could be subconscious, you know, when it comes to self-belief and believing in yourself, I urge you all, to uh, you know, do things in which are gonna allow you to believe in yourself more. Uh, things that I do is, um, I do a lot of self-help. So things like uh, affirmations. I wake up in the morning and I tell myself, I am great, I am wonderful, I am beautiful, I am, um, uh, I am successful, I am uh, financially free. Even if at those times I don't feel like that because the power of the tongue is insane. Whatever you say is what, you know, thoughts become things. And when you say and you, and you, you know, profess these things, they manifest. And so you want to make sure that whatever it is that you're saying is on point and is, you know, only feeding the wolf in which you want to feed to be able to generate more self-belief and generate more inspiration because you know when you've, uh, you've had a bad breakup or you break up with your girlfriend or you break up with your boyfriend and you're in a sad state of mind, what do we see in these movies? What do we see people do? They go away and they sit down and they listen to sad music and they feed that negative spirit. They feed that negative energy. You do not want to feed that negative energy. You want to be, if you go for a breakup, you want to be listening to happy songs. What do you want? Do you want to, to you know, experience something negative and have your friends sit next to you and go, oh, this is really bad, you know? Oh, this is so bad for you that it's so bad, that it's so bad, that it's so bad. Or do you want that friend that's saying, you know what? Forget about it, bro, or forget about it, sis. It is what it is, it's happened. Move on, you're better than that. You're greater than that and you are, which one did you feel more positive? Just me saying that. That is a testament to what you're feeding yourself, what you're, what you're you know, allowing yourself to be open to and making sure that, that cup is full of positivity and not negativity because that is what's gonna allow you to train yourself for self-belief. And if you are around people that do not believe, if you are around people that are giving you negative energy, cut them off immediately. The reason why is because they're not they're not participating in your growth, they're not participating in your belief and they're not gonna allow you to get to where you wanna go. And if they are not adding positivity, then they are bringing negativity. And if that negativity is outweighing that positivity, sooner or later you're gonna to get to the point where you're depleting and then you lose that, that, that self-belief and that confidence that you have in yourself. Which is why when you look at football players or sports players, they can have the same talent. The only difference as to why they're scoring goals every weekend is because they believe in themselves. They have morale, they have confidence. And that's based on their past activities, the fact that they've been scoring. So take that analogy to say, make sure that you're scoring your goals. Make sure that what you're feeding yourself is positive and is allowing you to be put in the situation that you need to be in, in order to generate more self-belief. Because the more that you believe in yourself, is the more that you will achieve. So guys, I hope that's been helpful and um, I want to open up that discussion. So make sure you guys drop a comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are, uh, feedback so we can create a conversation on what self-belief means to you. And make sure you guys like this video um, and subscribe and turn on those post, those post notifications so you get alerted every single time I drop a new video. So guys, I hope that's been useful for you. I can't wait to do this all again on the next video. And until then, I'll see you on the next one.